What year is it? 2017. At least I hope Nuts Review comes out because a lot of things sit and wait and they sit in Patreon and there's a mobile. Origin G2. Pretty sure that's Space Dandy. It's all Japanese. I have no idea. Origin G1. No. Well, Generation 1. There was the Origin. The Origin Plus. And now the G2. This is the third revision. So even though it's a G2, it's, it's really the G3. Anyway, I have the original Origin up there. And what they added in the Plus was fiber optic input and output and the switch that I asked for to make headphones go or pre-out go. So what did they add or fix in the G2? Because it's the only reason anybody does anything is they add or fix something. Well, they fix something. The Origin Plus, the manufacturer of the chipset that the DAC was using, forgot to like get their shit signed by Microsoft. So if you own an Origin and you have an the anniversary update on Windows, um, you're in for fun times, which is like a 15 step process on how to get around that driver install and it's a nightmare. It was so bad to the point where I actually stopped telling people to buy the Origin because it was just like, I, I knew if you had Windows 10, it was, you're pretty fucked. You're pretty fucked. So, G2, different chip manufacturer. They had to strip some features, which I don't really care about. I don't care about DSD, lose it. I don't care about 380, lose it. Plug this in on Windows 10. I thought it was broken. Of course, I, I plugged it in, USB micro. USB micro, here's this fiber optic in full size. Here's a combo pre-out fiber optic out, which we'll talk about more in a bit, and an optional five volt DC in case you're using the fiber optic. You don't want to run power off the whatever. Point being is I plugged it in, plugged it into my Windows 10 laptop, because this, this computer runs Windows 7, RAM is Windows 7, which makes sense, because RAM would obviously be Windows 10. And um, flip the switch, because this turns off, crash, error. We discussed that the last time I read one of these. That when you shut that off, if you're using something that's not Wasapi, it'll just default to the next available device, which is great. Because if you have another DAC or the internal speakers in this laptop playing on direct sound and you turn this on, oh wait, you're back, and then this plays. Oh, shut this off, okay, you're gone, now these play. It's actually a cool system. But anyway, I turned it on, and nothing happened. And I'm like, is it broken? Instantaneously worked. Now, there's one review on Amazon, uh, three reviews on Amazon, and one of them says they haven't fixed their Windows 10 problem. Now, I want to verify this, but I can only be one person. So, if you buy a G2, come back to this video after you've gotten it, and if you have Windows 10, and there's a Windows 10 driver, if you need it, I haven't needed it, it just goes, it just went. For seven, I plug it in and it's like, I need a driver, and I'm gonna end, end up plugging it into this computer. I'm gonna plug it right in there. Because this has a very special task that's gonna be performing in the future, for every review, pretty much. But for now, we're just discussing, okay, click on, light from red to green, I hit play. Here's the default device. Coolest goddamn visualization ever. I'd like to point that out. Actually, I could unpause this, mute that, because I am running it through the go rack. That little thing actually is switch the headphones, which are blasting now. There's a red and a blue LED inside that. And depending on which side is playing, the LED will light up. So it's usually purple, because you usually have left and right. But if I actually played that left, right wave, it would light up blue, red, blue, red fully. You can see a lot of blue in there. Uh, I don't know why that isn't on everything. Everything. Put it in every, one of my speakers. These should be blinking the thing. It's just nice to have a visualization that this is working. Like I have those VU meters, where are they? They're up there. 
that I could hook up, but I gotta tap into the signal source and then they'll actually like be VU meters. But just something to indicate that there is signal coming through and here, like if you peek in it, it gets so bright. Like let me just unplug those so you can just see. Like it'll go full purple. You're you're over over pushing it. And just with that nice pulsation. By the way, these are now on sale on Amazon. I will link to these. If you don't remember what these are, these are the hi fi Mint Edition S. And for how small they are, look how deep this cup is. And you gotta run them with the backs off. These have those magnetic backs. They're like 150 bucks now. It's, it's dumb. It's dumb not to own a pair. Let's pick them something else that hasn't been out for a while. Lower it, plug it in. Don't shut it off, just lower it. Whip out the... Uh, uh, I should the five six? No, I don't care. Yes, so the what do you want to start? How about all these switches on front? It has quarter inch and three and a half millimeter. Don't try to use them at the same time. It's just a convenience thing. If you have quarter inch headphones with a quarter inch only thing, like say the uh, Fostex X, not the Fostex, the, uh, yes, Fostex THX-100s. There you go. It has high-low gain. That's low gain now. So, you pick which headphones, you, which headphone connector you have, quarter inch or three and a half millimeter. Here's your high-low gain, zero decibels or negative ten. Start with low gain, and by the way, low gain does affect the output of the, the rear pre. So, pick and choose. And then here's your switch that decides if you're playing through the headphones or through the speakers. I mentioned how much I love this thing and its form factor and how it just looks correct on every desk it ever sat on. It's a little crooked to me. Got little rubber feet, little tiny rubber feet that are actually recessed so it doesn't stick up a whole lot. Look at the indicator. Hey, I don't have to bitch about the indicator because it's a bright silver dot. But I can tell exactly where this is whenever I turn it. Very, very cool. Now the switch back here is the switch between USB and SPDIF in. You would use probably SPDIF in if you wanted to hook this up. Well, honestly, you could hook it up if you're really concerned about Windows 10 drivers. If you have onboard sound, which most people do, and you don't want to put in drivers, use fiber optic. Just pop that out, fiber optic cable from your motherboard, just, that's it. Just tell your motherboard that you're running stereo, fiber, and it'll be fine. Game console works, TV works, so you can plug all your HDMI sources into a TV. You have a fiber optic out, and you can run into this. And then this will just, you could then have control over powered monitors or headphones. All the switches, all the switches. The thing I'm going to be using this for, because I'm obviously keeping this, but I, I usually keep these things and I put them on a shelf and they don't actually serve a purpose. Because I have them and I want to take them down to test. I've taken the Origin 1 down to test. And it's like, well, yeah, okay, this, you know, this works. You just switch it to headphones and then plug in my headphones. Do these need high gain? Yeah, these need high gain. Oh, by the way. $110. The Origin Plus is still on Amazon. If we go to Amazon, the Origin Plus is still on there. For a hundred bucks, don't. Spend the hundred and ten. You don't need DSD. Even if you think you do, you don't. You need this to plug in and work and not be a goddamn broken, insane piece of shit. Which is not Micah's fault, it's the people who manufactured the board just decided not to talk to Windows. Oh, by the way, this is my Emo-T remote, but it can uh, change tracks for me. Because... Fleerk! Fleerk! And that's the older Fleerk, and Shinobu up there is holding the newer Fleerk. So, I have Fleerks on everything. When I'm in the TV, when I'm in the room doing a sound demo, and you see me holding my Vizio remote, and changing tracks on FUBAR, there's a Fleerk in there, and I just programmed it to know that this button that's volume up, and this is next track, and I want to do page down. I have to click first. Yes, there's page down, and there's one or two things up and down. There's enter. You can do any number of things with this. It's fucking amazing. Play pause, perfect. Got a Fleerk. Fleerk linked in the description, it's amazing. Uh, so, the Origin G2. Sounds as good as 
anything you've ever heard uh, for $110. But all right, we we got to we got to talk about power and what it needs and here's a for USB only. See, here's the thing. Usually people come to me and they say, "Hey, look, I have these headphones and you know, do I need a new I want to get this DAC amp instead of this DAC amp." And the problem is the two DAC amps they're talking about are USB powered. Like this is USB powered. It's it's getting all its power from my laptop through USB and it's coming into this and it's making 5 volt at the lowest amperage it can imagine because it can't assume you're giving it like 3 amps. It's got to assume it it's got to work at 1 amp. So a 5 volt 1 amp maximum, maybe even half an amp is what every USB DAC needs to be able to run on. So when you say I want to upgrade, I need more power, and you, you keep shuffling around, you know, USB DACs that are USB powered, there's no benefit there. The own here, you plug in a 15 volt push pull to the back of it, so it's got power. And then the X7s is Class A. And then if you get a, a Magni Mati stack, those are completely separately powered. But of all the USB DAC amps. And I mean all of them. This one seems to have the most power. Because I'm wearing the T20s right now, which are the same as the T50s, only more base, which means more power required for the base. And if I put something on, and I set it to high, which it is set, and I take it to about three quarters, oof, drums of thunder. I mean, that's lit up. That shit is lit, bro. That is lit. But it is powering T20s, and therefore it'll power T50s. And I really, I, I nearly hurt myself because I was, I left it at full tilt. And I watched the song climb to a real loud bit, and I moved the headphones slightly back so I didn't actually go deaf. But I wanted to hear if it distorted, and I couldn't tell if it distorted. So, fucking can't knock the quality. That was cool. It just switched between um, 48 kilohertz. Next song. Oh, I'm hit the wrong button. 44, 196, 88.2, 176.4, and 192. We should talk about now. So, look, this is $110. If you don't have a DAC amp or you're using onboard, buy this. Just buy this. Just buy this. If you have very special requirement, there's, there's always more and bigger and better that you can get. But this comes out, the only thing this is missing is a microphone input, which would make it god tier. You're paying attention, Micah, and people who do, make, make a microphone input so you could actually make a separate microphone input, but also make the small three and a half millimeter a four pole. So I could just plug my, um, Oh, the, the, the mod mic's over there somewhere. The four-pole mod mic straight into it with no adapters, no splitters. That is my goal. If I can complain on the internet hard enough and they could sell them, they can make this $150 called the Gaming Edition and have it plug a microphone in and just nipples, 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 nipples. Let's talk about how this is going to integrate into the future of Z-Reviews forever. So we're going to have to unplug the speakers, so let's have them play one last time. <laughs> Classic, classic. That's corn, good god, dub pistols mix. So, I'm gonna do this. Right, you're following me? Plug these headphones. Make a pile of headphones. Zeus loves his piles. This is a, U is a, is a USB cable. <laughs> really confusing. I wonder if I made a video that was just me fucking with people if people would go along with it in the comments. Well, everyone, this is called a USB cable and you plug it into your HDMI. HDMI, which, you know, T stands for transformer because it transforms video. Oh my God, I could go nuts. I could probably be the world's best liar. We won't go there. Anyway, here's my goal. This is what's going to happen. It probably happened already. By the time this review comes out, it's probably happened because shit's in the mail. Because of the Gashelli Labs DAC that I'm using in my living room, which is spit if only, and because of what they've explained about how hard it is to get USB to work, and how drivers suck, and I just started listening to them and going, eh, you know what? Yeah. 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 Fucking drivers suck. 
This setup here, this Windows 7 laptop, which this is a Windows 7 laptop up here. Look at that USB hub with every, this DAC, this DAC, this DAC, this DAC. And then if I plug this DAC in, which I didn't do, because I plugged it in here, because I just, I can break this perfect little cloud by plugging in something new and having it auto install drivers and then all of a sudden this won't work and I have to uninstall that driver and I gotta uninstall the original driver and I gotta reinstall like this driver and this driver in a certain order and it's fucking annoying. So what I've done or what I plan to do and will happen, I bought this already and this is a fiber optic in, one fiber optic in, three fiber optic outs. And I bought it because I was gonna do something or other with it. Came with four wires, by the way, for like $17. I'll link to that bundle. But when I got it, I, I came to the conclusion that, wait a second, I have four DACs here, right? Four USB DACs. The Ione is USB DAC, the SMSL Sanskrit Pro is USB DAC, the Emotiva here is a USB DAC, and the JDS Labs OL DAC is a USB DAC. They're also, every single one of them, capable of taking an optical input. You know what that means, boys and girls. That means if I can get my laptop up there to give me a signal like this, I could plug it into a box like this and distribute fiber optic to every DAC I have, no drivers. Need one driver. So there's a five-way one of these. This one's only a three-way, like your mom. There's a five-way one of these, like your grandmom, and I'm gonna end up it's showing up in the mail tomorrow, and I'm not sure if I'm doing it tomorrow because i got other things to do. But I'm going to take this Origin, which is why I'm reviewing it now, because shit's coming tomorrow. This Origin will be the heart of this entire system, everything, this whole pile of shit. The Origin will sit probably right here. It will be USB to the Windows 7 laptop, the only USB DAC. It will provide, when I need it, just general headphone usage, but it will output the master fiber optic. So when I turn this on, I will get one, two, three, four, and then a fifth one that comes out and I could use on my desk here to plug into this one, which will have three leads so I could review three separate DACs at the same time. There'll be no drivers. There'll be no more from switching where I'm pushing keys to switch which DAC you, it'll just be, I want you to imagine, I'm explaining this like I just thought I was explaining it in the other video. You know when you're in Minecraft, and you have like resources and you're doing like steam or you know lava through pipes and you could just hook the pipes up to everything i'm gonna hook light up to everything light's gonna be generated by my origin which is definitely build craft and then it's going to go to all these different mods and it's all gonna work because fiber optic is universal there's no drivers it's just light where is the lens i want to blind you all so this origin the G2, the one that I know is going to work, I, I'm going to have to install a driver. And once I install a driver, I'm afraid things are going to break. But once I have everything set up and I could remove all the USB cables, put in my distribution of fiber optic, and just turn this on, and everything will now work at the same... Every single amp will work simultaneously without me changing anything. That's a fucking miracle. And I have to thank Gashelli Labs for, do, for convincing me that that was what to do. Because even if I'm limited to 24-bit, who cares? Even if I'm limited to 96K, who cares? So I may have, some files might get weirded out, but I think this will still convert because I was playing some weird stuff. And I was in 32-bit mode in USB. Right now, I'm in 32-bit. Yet, if I hook this fiber optic up to the audio god, which I had it hooked up the review previous to this one, this was feeding 24-bit to that perfectly fine. So this is going to work. This is going to be the most important piece of equipment in this room. It deserves it. And then I could just shut it off. And nothing will get signal. And the laptop will convert back to whatever the last USB device is. Because I'm sure I'm still going to get... Like my ODAC is only USB. That little $40 unit that I bought with the microphone input to compete with the um, Sennheiser GSX-1000. Those are both only USB. So there still will be USB stuff testing, but I don't have to worry about any of the drivers for my main equipment. So I'm basically going to be using this mostly as a USB to fiber optic converter. And if I had to pay $110 for it, so be it. Because when it's not doing that, 
It's a damn good headphone amp with preamp control. <sighs> I love this thing, man. If you don't have one, you should get one. It is choice. If you have, what, what did Ferris say? If you have the means, I do suggest you pick one up. It is choice. So yeah, yeah. I'm glad I gave this its own entire review again. Every time I get an Origin or they change something and it's actually for the better, they, they get my time. They earn my time. Wallpaper in the description. Most important thing. Links to this in the description. Links to all the shit I bought with fiber optic in case for some reason you also have like five random SPDIF DACs that you could distribute off of this. You probably don't. Uh, links to the Fleerk, because the Fleerk's amazing. Links to the Patreon, upper right or lower thing. I may sell my original Origin. I may put that on the yard sale. Every month from the 1st to the 10th, I offer up random stuff that I've purchased for review. A couple headphones over there I might throw up there. Then it's just like, I bought these, I reviewed them, I'm done, I want some of my money back. Offer me something and then I pay shipping. And I will ship internationally if you agree to pay half the shipping because shipping to like the nor most northern part of Russia is not cheap. So that's all. I don't want to lose money on this deal, but I still don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to rip anybody off. If I'm willing to pay for internet for U.S. shipping, I'm willing to pay for half of international shipping. So join the Patreon. Five dollars a month, get to see this review two weeks early. And if these are sold out by the time this review goes live, that's why. The patrons bought them all. We're good. We're good. Rem's good. It's almost looking clean in here. Almost. You know, I don't know what, like, that fucking nightmare, but... I want to thank Micah for sending this in the Aura Gains and everything else. And now we're partying and cha-cha-ing and we are done.